and folks who are watching it don't feel like they're being hit over the head, you know, with a message. No, no. You know, um, they're just really <laughs> enjoying the story. John Ortiz, what's up, brother? What's up, guys? Hello. <laughs> hey, Chelsea. What's up, Paulie? Hey, man, just making it happen. You're keeping keeping uh, the slam provocative and real and yeah. and uh, here for you guys, man. You know, I'm, I'm, I, I love both of you guys to death and, and, and the work you guys have done this past year. Thank you. Yeah, it's been a little, uh, I mean, you know how hard it is to, and Chelsea does as well. Mm -hmm. It's just so hard to make a movie to make any movie, you know, and, um, and this movie, even though it's, um, you know, we're definitely riding the wave of, um, of, you know, really good recognition and, and, you know, the studio is now pumping in, um, a lot of money into the marketing as I, that even though we're reaping the benefits of that, um, mm -hmm. you know, the movie started out as a small indie, like very, akin to a lot of a lot of small indies that I did over the years um, that may or may not have been just as good, you know, but for whatever reasons, um, they kind of fell through uh, through the cracks. So I know how how um, how rare it is, you know, um, sometimes it's not about the money. Um, sometimes it's just about good timing, you know, and and mm. and um, and we've been really lucky with this one that we had the good timing of it, of not only really inspired great work. I mean, the script from the jump was amazing. And then everything else just like fed into that, you know, and it really, it really kind of started um, just multiplying in terms of that. But, but, but I'm not going to lie, like it being in Toronto at the film festival there and, mm -hmm. And winning that award was huge. You know, um, things just kind of changed overnight in terms of its trajectory. So, so it's um, so it's a blessing. And I'm, I'm th I think I told you last year. I mm -hmm. during Promised Land, I didn't have a publicist. I was yes. I was number one on the call sheet and just refused to have one. Yeah. And for many years, since Miami Vice, actually since 2005, wow, I didn't have a publicist. And well, wait, for wait, correction. reasons, I just wanted yeah. just to lay low and like not yeah. talk about the work and just let the work do the talking. Okay. But I kind of figured it was time. So it's like Chelsea said, a lot, a lot easier to um to let to organize. Lead. John, um, thank you for your time. Listen, I got I got to see uh, American Fiction like almost two weeks ago. What a great film, man! What an absolutely great film. I think the the fact that it's so rooted in in this drama of what our lead character is going through in his family life and all those connected storylines makes the co comedy of the film so outstanding so when it's with you so it's so rewarding to see you and him just just vibing off each other man you got you were hilarious bro <laughs> thank you thanks yeah. yeah i mean i was just happy to finally prove to my son that i can do comedy <laughs> i mean for <laughs> he was like that you you can't do comedy i'm like i could i could yeah i just haven't had the chance recently but just you wait son just you wait just you wait yeah yeah so you're, you got you're, it he yeah, actually, go ahead uh, please yeah 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 no thanks it that was a lot of fun doing those scenes with jeffrey he um uh i'm not sure if you know but we knew each other for about uh, 20, 25 years. You told me we that. We were in the same the uh, theater circles here in New York. And, um, mm -hmm. you know, I'd see him on stage. I saw him in Bring In The Noise, Bring In The Funk, Top Dog. Wow. I saw him in Julius Caesar in the park. Um, he saw me in a few shows. Um, mm -hmm. We actually shared a green room at the public. We were on different stages, but we had the same common green room. And I was in this big, crazy, large cast play of like 16 of us um mm -hmm. and he was in a small three hander and um i felt bad for them because um we were not only a large cast but we were loud um and uh 
and we just were friends, you know, and, you know, he's definitely one of those actors that, that uh, was on my list. You know, Jeffrey was on that list, you know, so when the script came, I was like, you know, especially the role, you know, um, I've been, um, you know, it's no, it's no secret how, how uh, li li limiting um, sometimes characters that come our way are, mm. you know, um, and, you know, when I, saw this part, you know, just an agent. He's just a guy. He's just doing his job, you know. Um, he's got this really nice let, relationship if, with Yeah. Lee. If you don't and, mind, let me let me yeah. pause it really quick. So the relationship is you're a, you're his literary agent. Jeffrey Wright is a novelist, right? And the premise is that he's a black novelist that doesn't write about the black experience and you're egging him on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he not only doesn't write about that particular type of a black experience which right. is often mired in, you know, the traumas of violence and the inner city blues and and mm -hmm. and drugs. He also um is is offended by it and mm. and 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 insulted by it especially because he's um he feels that in the only way he can sell books is if he writes about that which is the last thing he wants to do mm -hmm. um and he decides to say enough is enough and as a prank almost writes right. one but he writes it under like he would never use his real name. He would never want to be associated with it. So he uses a pen name and writes this book and sends it to me to send out to uh, to publishing houses. Yeah. And um, at first I think he's crazy, but I <laughs> I uh, I say okay, but may, uh, maybe just to one or two of them, you know. And uh, lo and behold, to my surprise, there's great response from it so great that one of the top publishing houses that wouldn't even sniff in his direction offers him a lot of money, like mm -hmm. more money than he's seen in a very long time. And he needs the money. And he so, needs the money. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. a very real reason why he needs the money. Yes. That <laughs> that's that's kind of in the trailer is that is that I do convince him to take yeah. the money to make the deal. But what happens is that the the book becomes an, an overnight sensation, like a bestseller. Yeah, and, it's really ridiculous and, what happens. And so now Hollywood wants to make wants to buy the movie rights. And the problem is uh because he can't be uh associated with it because he's so like you know offended by this by what he wrote that he puts on the persona of who he imagined wrote it which is this ex-convict who's on the run from the law <laughs> and uh and that's wow. when all hilarity breaks out um and that's stag r lee his pen name and and in the book of the name of the book is pathology pathology yeah. And it's spelled uh, well, incorrectly. actually, actually, he changes oh, no. it yeah. midway. This is actually a really fun, funny part in the movie. Yeah. Midway through, he gets so wrapped up in this persona that he puts on mm. and also like doing an FU to the powers that be says, you know what? I w I'm not going to agree to this unless we change the title. And this is after they love the title pathology with an F. And they're like, oh, no, but we love the title. Why? You know, it, mm -hmm. uh, but what are you thinking? And he's like, fuck. I want to call it fuck. <laughs> so that's the title of it, actually. Bro, um, well, was, your, yeah. was your kid uh, excited that you were a meme? That I was what? You were, you were a meme? I was a meme. Oh, Look was I a meme? Am I a meme? I don't know. It's like a video thing. I typed I think it's it. It's a I gift. Typed... It's a gift. It's a gift. Oh. Look at you. Wow. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm excited about it. 
<laughs> Look, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Were, That's actually were... probably my second, my second gift. So right here, what's going on here is that Jeffrey, Jeffrey Wright is, for lack of better words, kind of so like, you know, uh, I want to say uh, white, but he's so like, you know, just kind of like conservative, you know, he doesn't even know how to, you know, homeboy it up. And so you're like, come on, you know, homeboy. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm trying to give him some, some, some street vibes. Some swag. Some swag. Yeah. yeah. He's 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 you know he's like upper middle class upbringing. He's an intellectual. He's really repressed. And mm -hmm. and 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 part of that is like like part of that, part of that personality has gotten him in trouble with his family, which is really the heart and soul of the movie. Yeah. Um, He's been one of these types because of that, because of his upbringing and his complicated relationships with his siblings and his parents, his father, especially yet an overbearing father who died. Um, he has distanced himself from them. And in the off the top of the movie, he's like he's going through it. He's going through it professionally mm -hmm. and he's going through it personally. And he's forced to confront those things that mm. have gotten in the way and part and and half of that is him relating to his family him allowing just other people to see him you know to open up and so and so that's that's also like that's also the the uh the um the characteristics uh that have gotten him in trouble and that he has to overcome in the movie and he does it and he goes back and he takes care of his mother who who's going through some stuff and he's re he's rediscovering his love for his siblings and vice versa uh, on top of which in a place where he's allowed to vulnerably enter a romance uh really quickly uh deleted scenes for five dollars he says american fiction is an excellent film highly recommend Congratulations on the Golden Globe nominations. Now, on to the Oscars. I mean, that Thank is, you. that's always nice. But Because what you're saying is that it, it it's it's an indie film. And yeah. most of these indie films don't end up like this. Yeah. We shot it in 26 days. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And it was a modest budget. I'm not sure mm -hmm. how much, but it was pretty modest. You know, I could have. Mm -hmm. I could have been working on any film uh, at that time under mm -hmm. those conditions and it would have been just like any other indie. And the thing about it is that because the material was so good and, and everyone was so connected to it or responded to it in such a way that you felt it on set. Like there were many different members of the crew like reading the novel while we were shooting it you know wow. um, that the movie is based on yeah um and so there was this real um there was this real like pride that we're making this movie that we're telling this story and um people deeply cared about it you know um so that's another beautiful thing that's happened is that it's it's truly been an extension from like the initial excitement that's that's been consistently carried forth until now you know so it's it's a it's a beautiful thing so you know you don't you don't see these these types of movies you know you know get this you know you know getting what it is of course jeffrey wright you know helped it helped it you know get catapulted but you know, the, the subject matter is on point. And as I was watching this, I'm like, you know, this is this is just so down, up my alley. And I couldn't help. So, you know, and I, so I loved it all. But I couldn't help but think it's like, man, these are the type of Latino stories we need. You know, where it's not always about the trauma trope. It's not always about, you know, the pain of my people. You know, and in fact, this guy, you know, the character is very much, you know, over that. You know, like, you know, there's other things in life or other, or other, you know, uh, so that, that was very inspiring to see, man. Uh, have you gotten that type of reaction? Without a doubt, without mm -hmm. a doubt. It's, it's, um, it, it's really, it's really smart in that way because it not only shows the side, the perspective of looking at the plight 
of marginalized folks, mm. but it it just as sharply represents the other side of like we're more than that, right? There's more to our existence than that particular thing. Mm -hmm. But what's interesting is that in say Issa Rae's character, who writes a novel that Jeffrey Wright's character really looks down on, it's called Wee's Lives in the Ghetto. And 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 she's just mm -hmm. as smart as Monk is. That's Jeffrey Wright's character, and they get and and they get into a real sophisticated, um, mm -hmm. honest discussion about what it is that we're doing with our art and with our voices. Mm. You know, why? And 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 so her side is also like. Um, quite uh it's 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 a it's quite valid you know um and 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 so that's exciting also to hear so on top of this emotional very specific story of this this guy's life at this point in time and his family and his perspective he's the protagonist he's like the one that is we're mostly um focused in on you have all these other beautifully realized human beings and 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 voices and mm -hmm. and and perspectives um either with him or challenging him but they're full and they're realized and and it's grounded in a in a in a real way you know um so so that the combination of all those things and the many different things, I think, allow allow stuff just to breathe easier. You know, it's just a, uh, in terms of telling the story, you know, and 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 folks who are watching it don't feel like they're being hit over the head, you know, with a message. No, no. Nope. You know, um, they're just really <laughs> enjoying the story, you know. Um, and it's also the type of story that in terms of the movie making of it is so enjoyable that, that, and humor has a lot to do with this, but I think it's also the, the, the honest depiction of everyday life. Um, the simplicity of that, you know, the, like the richness that exists within the simplicity of it, right? Like all of those things, when you're watching it as a movie. This is like cohesive story. You can't help but not only be enjoying it and joyful in it, but also mm. being like, oh, wow, like you become enthralled by it. And by the end of the movie, you're you're telling your friend, and what about that part? And what about that mm. part? And what about that part? You know? Yeah. So it's also that kind of movie, you know, where you're like, and what about that part? And what about, you know, and 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 that's 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 everything beautiful way of 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 uh yep. of uh, making a movie or 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 watching one you know that's everything i mean it, it's it's age old right it's a, it's com compelling storytelling yeah and uh it, with people that you don't normally see in these types of roles yeah you know, we're, we're we're so kind of accustomed to seeing these hollywood stereotypes and it's this man i'm telling you man i i, I was just it blew my mind. And yeah, it's yeah. funny, but it's obviously yeah. deeply sad. And then there's hope. It's, I was like, damn, you yeah. know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 It's really, it's really like, it's funny because you, you know, you say these things and it sounds like cliche and it sounds like, you know, we're, we're just like, you know, um, like, uh, mouthing off, uh, um, talking points. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, but, it truly, like, it truly is all of those things happening at once. And it's so organically mixed into the art of the writing and the direction and, and the acting that, that it's not lip service. <laughs> I'm not yeah. lying. It's like all of those I, things in this like yeah. real way that's quite infectious. And um and I think that's why people are responding to it. And um I'm so I'm so excited that audiences are gonna get to uh start seeing it in full force on Friday. 
I totally agree with you because I, I think people are just tired of being, uh, you know, hammered in any way, at any level about whatever message, whether the message is valid or, or not, you know, it's, it, it, that's what I was getting from this. It, even from the trailer, I was like, ah, oh, this, this is really different. We did a reaction to the trailer a few oh, months yeah? ago. I remember I, I sent you a message and I yeah. was like, wow, this is like, you know, this is unique. We it's like, wow, Hollywood did this. Um, <laughs> yeah. And, you're... and, and I also love how it, how it, um, how it pokes fun at the other side of like the reaction, like the reactionary liberal side, right? The PC side of mm -hmm. responding to lack of representation. So, so you have, you know, um, you have these, these, these folks who really aren't fully invested in figuring it all out, but mm -hmm. it's just kind of like, okay, you don't have that one story. Well, then here it is. There's no diversity here. Well, let me just pick, you know, a random person of color and throw them in and call that mm -hmm. diversity, you know, like it pokes, it does this great satirical um, touch with um, exposing how shallow that is. Well, you know, he goes after how everyone. Effective that yeah. is, and how ridiculous it is. It's ridic you know? I mean, Core Jefferson is a, the writer director, correct? He adapted yeah. it from the from the from the novel. Man, I'm like, I'm a fan because you just you're not you don't you don't see you don't see Hollywood make make making fun of itself nowadays. Yeah, it's just yeah. everyone's got so serious. Dude. Yeah, he's an impressive. He's really mm -hmm. impressive, and um. This is just the beginning for him. He's going to be making movies and writing all kinds of things from here on out. You know, he's fairly young. Um, I can't believe this is his first film, you know, but I think there's something about his life wow. experience that helped. Mm -hmm. You know, he was a journalist and he wrote on some really good TV shows like Watchmen and um, and The mm. Good Place. Um, and uh, he just read this book. And the other fascinating thing is that he read this book without really knowing what it was. He like found it in a review um, of another book that he was interested in reading. And he was like, Ooh. well, what's that book about? And he read it and it was like, oh my God, this is like kind of close to my life, you know? And there was like this real personal connection to it. And he was like, I have to, this is it. This is the next story I'm gonna write. I need to write the screenplay. And he read it in 2020 during COVID. And within a year, he wrote the screenplay. And a year after that, we're shooting it. And you're saying it took, took only, you only shot in 26 days. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you've yeah, been yeah, part yeah. Of it was amazing. Like, I, I mm -hmm. you know, my, the, uh, because the budget was what it was, and because mm -hmm. he, he only had the 26 days, my stuff, I shot in two days what wow two days wow yeah i came in i flew in on a saturday i had dinner with him that night monday morning i was i saw jeffrey for the first time in the makeup trailer and we just exchanged pleasantries we didn't talk about the script we didn't talk the character yeah. we had yeah. no time and monday you know an hour later, we were in front of the cameras, just diving in. Now you say you've known Jeffrey for a long time. Um, was he excited for this? Yeah, 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 yeah. We, you know, he. Um, yes, he. He. Uh, I haven't spoken to him specifically about that, mm -hmm. but in putting the pieces together, um, one thing he did say was how this a lot of stuff is mirrors him and stuff that he was mm. going through in his life at the time that he read the script. So kind of similar to Cord, they shared that, you know, um, and folks who will see this, which he's brilliant in it. And mm. it's, you know, a lot of folks are saying it's his best performance of an already amazing career. Yeah. Um, I tend to agree with it. And part of it is because, um, this might be like the closest to him as a person. 
um, that he's been with the with with acting out the wow. character with, with the picking of character. So yeah, yeah, like uh, you know, I don't know if I would say he was excited because you know, yeah, maybe excited is not the word. He, like he just seems very. He just seemed very invested, like it, like he could, like I, the vibe, uh, you know. Um, yeah, know. It's yeah, such like, a great role. Yeah, yeah, we, 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 uh, we usually uh, share how you know we um, we tend to do things that scare the crap out of us, you know. And I think, I think, I think I would substitute that for excitement <laughs> and once he yeah. knew that because it was so close and it was like such a powerful story and it was like he really had to go there um uh yeah it was unlike any other and it was probably um impossible for him to say no you know um, of course we highly recommend it. you guys can catch our movie review of this well john it's been a pleasure man you you busy you hitting a lot of uh, a lot of press yeah Oh, yeah, I fit a I fit a few today, but they've all been great, yeah. you know. And it's and it's and it's such a breeze when you're talking about something um you're really proud of, you know, and yeah. you love, you know. So so oddly enough, it's hasn't felt like work at all. It's it's been really enjoyable, including my time with you as always. Talk well, thanks you. so much, guys. Okay, brother. All right. God it's bless. Been easy. We'll see really you soon. We appreciate you. American Fiction, John Ortiz. Cuídate, all right? All right. Gracias. Igual. I don't know how to get out of here. We'll take okay. you out. Peace. Uh, <laughs> okay.